guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and today we're going to be trying a new little, little club here. This is a new Adams DHY prototype driving hybrid. It's almost like, this is a, well this is a DHY Pro which is the prototype version. This is not currently out on the market at the moment but it's, it's a driving iron that's got a slightly bigger head. I've just tested the TaylorMade UDI, so if you've not seen that video, go and check it out here because it kind of gives a bit of an, an idea of what, how that performs. I'm gonna now see how this performs. Um, and this is one that I'm slightly intrigued about because currently this has slightly been performing better, only slightly, but I wanna show you the evidence on the GC2 as well and why this one might be staying a little bit, staying in the bag and staying around a bit more. So I got this off the guys on the TaylorMade tour truck. Adams are associated with TaylorMade. They're, you know, TaylorMade owner Adams. So they're using a little bit of the technology on both sides. Um, I think it's actually the first Adams club that I've tested on my channel. Um, but I know that from past history and what I've heard that they make phenomenal hybrids and, and fairway woods. Um, what, they've, what they've done, now they've obviously tied in with TaylorMade, they've used a bit of that technology. So this is the 18 degree, almost like two iron driving iron. And they've got the speed pocket. So this is a long speed pocket, not got the toe and the heel sections to it, but a slim speed pocket. So I'm sure they've probably, the, the boffins at TaylorMade and Adams have come together and gone, oh, hold on, why don't you use a bit of speed pocket? You know, never know. It's got a nice big chunky head, black finish. I love the look of this. Now the, the advantage of this one compared to UDI, it's got a slightly bulged face. So the face isn't as flat as, a, as an iron. This is slightly bulged, so off-centered off hit, it will perform better. So because of gear effects, when the club twists, the ball twists in the opposite way, this will project the golf ball further to the left or right, so that when the natural curve of an off-strike happens, the ball finds the middle of the club, middle of the fairway a little bit easier. It's got a bit more of a, a meat behind the head as well. So it's not a hybrid at all. I say it's a hybrid almost driving guy. And I think that's, you know, D, DHY. Again, like the uh, UDI, I'm not sure what the release date on this is just yet. Um, I think this might come out fairly soon. It's interesting, Justin Rose actually put this in for the Open. He was using the UDI and swapped it for this because he was, he was, it was performing slightly better. Uh, right, let's see what it does on GC2. I've got this currently and again in the Project X uh, 6.0 graphite shaft. Same length as the UDI. Just behind the ball, just gives it that little bit of chunkness to make it look a little bit easier to hit. And it's just that. It is just so easy to hit. 222 yards of carry distance, so similar carry distance to the uh, to the UDI, but just felt so. I don't know. I don't know if it's the confidence when you look down and it's got a bigger head, but it's 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 versatile. That was still quite low. That was 29 yards up in the air, so it's quite a low penetrating ball flight. Oh, that's nice. I love the flight on it. Two, three, six. 236 yards of carry distance there. But just come out like a, like a bullet. Launched at 12 degrees. Maximum height was 32 though. So a bit like the UDI now. So let's see if I can just maybe hit this one a little bit higher. Because I think that's, that to me is what's always put me off getting a hybrid. That it wasn't versatile. You couldn't hit it high or low. I currently use a two iron in my bag. Um, so let's see if I can hit this one a bit higher. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So he 41 yards up in the air. It still carried 230 yards. So for me, it gives me that, that little bit of versatility to either hit it like a bullet off the tee to find the fairway. And if you're into wind, like it's quite windy down here today at Trafford Golf Centre. Or if I wanted to land it into, let's say, a par four or a par five, I've got the option to hit it up into space to land the golf ball softly, which is great. So they're off a little tiny tee peg. So let's say... I hit this off the floor this time. Oh, it's just so easy to hit. That was a fraction out of the toe of the golf club that time. Still carried 231 yards of carry. And that's the thing with it. This is what this is why I think this one's probably gonna 
stay around maybe in my bag just because of off slightly centered hits it still offers a huge amount of forgiveness because of that bulge that I was talking about before yet it's not sacrificing distance whatsoever it's not not hit one quite as far as the UDI did the best UDI one was 247 which is a, a massive hit love it i just love the flight of it 234 yards and it's just it's just a bullet my dispersion is much better on this without question my dispersion's a lot lot better now i have been using this a couple of times now in course videos and you might have seen me in the rough i just find with a slightly bigger head it is also slightly easier to hit out the rough so it cuts through the grass a little bit more comfortable than possibly the udi uh, I think that UDI is probably a more powerful club off the tee, but the Adams one is a golf club. Now, this has really swapped my mind because when I, when I was at the Open and I got these two golf clubs, I was so, so convinced that the UDI was going to be the club that I was going to choose, without question. The first couple of shots I hit with it, when I, the very next day after I got back from the Open, I was like, oh, wow, okay, this is, this is a serious piece of club. This is the UDI I'm talking about, the tailor-made one. Then I hit this, and I was like, okay. <laughs> um, it offered the same flight, but just a much greater forgiveness. And, you know, I don't play a huge, a huge amount of golf, but for a two-iron, you want a f club that is forgiving. You know, it's, it's, it's not an easy golf club to hit a two-iron, so you want one that's to a high level of forgiveness. Let's hit a couple more. Just love the flight on it. Ah, 240 carry. It's catching it. It heard about the uh, 247 that the, that the tailor made hit. Let's go one more. I just love it. I just love the, the, the feel of it, the look. It's just that little bit more forgiving behind the golf ball. I've been using this off the tee quite a bit. As well, you know, when you're trying to position yourself off a tee, which sometimes I need. Right, let's go one more with this. That was off the bottom of the golf club. That was not a good hit at all. It still carried 233 yards. I don't get that with the UDI. I just get a little bit more punished with that golf club, which is a shame because the looks wise, it is a sharp, clean, precise iron, which will suit an awful lot of players. For me, the forgiveness level for the Adams DHY prototype um, pro driving hybrid, let's say, is much greater. And this is why this golf club is definitely, definitely going in my golf bag because, you know, it's a club that, I'm going to hit it again, that I just enjoy hitting and it gets great distance. And it's a club that I'm going to use quite a bit. Oh, two, three, eight. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and enjoyed a little bit of an insight to the, the new club that is going to be, you can't miss it in my bag anyway with this head cover, um, then please do give the video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below. Um, it helps me make more videos and get equipment earlier and quicker than than otherwise so if you give me more views and likes and subscribes i can get more equipment to help show you the best possible way i'm always giving factual evidence on gc2 hitting real golf balls guys thanks so much for watching please do subscribe by clicking the link check out my next video here and that was the adams club that will without question be going into my golf bag and you will be seeing on my course videos very soon guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you all soon